because there's a freaking long rain delay, I thought, why not? Why not make a race preview video? Uh, I should have done it earlier, but I hesitated on it. I was like, I'll just do a race recap, but... It's pouring rain in New Hampshire right now, so it's most likely going to get delayed to later today or tomorrow. So I was like, why not? So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to talk about the race, uh, favorites, surprises, disappointments like I usually do with a race preview. I will go ahead and start with the surprises. Surprises. Eric Jones. Eric Jones has been running very well recently. I think he has four straight top tens. And one of those is a win at Daytona. So Eric Jones is definitely picking up his consistency, doing very well with that 20 team. Don't be surprised to see him in the top 10 today or tomorrow. Or for him to run in the top 5, even to run while he qualified 7th, had a good qualifying run. Daniel Suarez starting 9th. Um, you know, JGR, they run really good at New Hampshire. Last year, um, both they won both races. Denny Hamlin won the July race. Uh, Kyle Busch won the playoff race in September. They don't have two races this year. They only have the one. But uh, JGR's always run pretty well at New Hampshire. So just the JGR cars should do good this weekend. Um, that's why I have Suarez in my top 10, or my surprises, because he's also qualified in the top 10. He qualified ninth, I believe. Yes, he qualified ninth. Um, so... Definitely don't be surprised if he runs good today, runs in top 10, top 5. Um, he could definitely do good this weekend. Another one of my surprises, this is actually a big surprise, A.J. Allmendinger. I, you know, A.J. Allmendinger, he does good at road courses. He does good at flat, uh, short track Martinsville. And, you know, I, I just have a little feeling. I have a feeling he's going to run well this weekend. He qualified 16th. He qualified ahead of Joey Logano, Kyle Larson, Jimmy Johnson, so, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see that car finish in the top 10. So watch out for A.J. Allmendinger this weekend. Uh, just that good qualifying run. Um, disappointments. You know, this is going to surprise some of you guys, but Kevin Harvick he did not have a hot qualifying run. 14th. They He's won there in the past. He's run very well at New Hampshire in the past. But, you know, I just where he qualified just bugs me a little bit. I just don't like it. Um... I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he ran up in the front, but I just don't like the way he qualified. I just don't like that unless they made some adjustments to the cars. Another guy who didn't qualify too hot, Clint Boyer. He's running well at New Hampshire in the past, but, man, 15th. Clint Boyer, you're better than that. That's not a great qualifying for him. Another disappointment, Joey Logano. He's won at New Hampshire. Qualified 19th. I don't, I just, when these guys qualify poorly, I don't like it. Um, so yeah, I think even Kyle, I could add Kyle Larson onto that list. He qualified 20th. I mean, some of these guys really disappointed in qualifying. Uh, favorites. I'm just going to move on to the favorites now. For the favorites, I have Martin Truex Jr. Uh, Martin Truex Jr. Man, <laughs> he's been getting hot. That's scary for the rest of the field. Uh, he finished second at Daytona or third, or second, or third, he finished top three, he won at Kentucky last week, not only did he win, he freaking dominated that, um, man, he led a lot of laps, I think he led like 190 something, he also won both stages and got a win, so he got seven stage points last week, he's up to third in the standings, I mean, last year he won the championship regular season, uh, most stage points, most everything, and um, man, he, he ran good at New Hampshire last year, he ran really well. Kyle Busch, he won a New Hampshire race, race last year. He always runs good everywhere. He's won everywhere. So don't be surprised to see him up there. Uh, let's see where he qualified. Truex qualified second, Busch third. And my third favorite qualified fourth, Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin won this race last year. Um, as I said earlier, the Gibbs cars, always so good at New Hampshire. So don't be surprised to see those guys competing for a win. My pick is going to have to be Martin Truex Jr. I think he'll go back-to-back, -back, get his fifth win of the season to tie up Kyle Busch and Kevin Harvick. Uh, last year, just the backup of it, last year in the first race, uh, he led 137 laps of the 301, and he won a stage, and he finished third. The other race, he led 112 laps, won a stage, and finished fifth. 
So Truex has run very well there, won some stages, but he has not won at New Hampshire in his career. Uh, if he were to win today or tomorrow, whenever the race will happen, that would be his 20th career win. So with that, I'm picking Truex. I think that that car's good this weekend. He qualified second. I think he'll be up front all day, and I think he'll end up pulling off the victory. Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's dominant. But, man, Truex and that team, they're hot right now. Don't be surprised if they freaking dominate. I mean, man, they are so good right now. So that's all I have. I'll come at you with the race recap once the race happens, if it's today or tomorrow. Um, tell you about that. Get my take on it, all that stuff. Uh, that's all I have for right now, as I said. Uh, like, subscribe, share, all the fun stuff. That'd be nice. That'd be awesome. Um, thank you for watching and have a good day.